Okay, uh, hey, it's me again, sorry. Um, can I have a quick show of hands? Uh, who here is never stressed when working and has plenty of free time left over? Yeah, that's, okay, some blessed people over there. Um, very happy for you. Um, so yeah, that's really a problem. So let's talk about how we can fix that. Uh, I hope the, it's very easy to read for the people in the back. I wasn't sure if it's big enough. So making yourself obsolete. Um, this is basically something that I've been doing since a few years uh, because already in the beginning, I was sure that I wasn't able or I wasn't gonna be able to do all this design work that we're now having to do on my own now. Uh, so I was already making sure that, um, yeah, I was kind of making myself obsolete, uh, making the community inclusive uh, to get other people on board. And so there's a few steps that I want to share with you, uh, how, yeah, how I do it, how other people do it, um, what kind of worked, and uh, what is very easy also to, to implement. And that's four steps. Uh, first step is be transparent, and they're, they're sorted by difficulty, so to say, or time investment. So be transparent is the most simple one, uh, onboarding, then building a team, and then telling everyone about it. So the first step is being transparent and welcoming. So these are two very quick hints uh, for that. Um, having a helpful readme, I think I said it two years ago or uh, maybe, maybe earlier also already, having a screenshot in the readme, having instructions how to install the app for a developer environment, because me, for example, I'm among all you technical people, but I'm, for example, a designer, uh, and I don't know by myself that I need to do make in a terminal, right? And a lot of other people also don't know that if, they, if there's a make file that you have to do this magic command. So just have a section saying that. Um, and uh, yeah, other things, for example, if you need to npm install or any of these esoteric tools, right? So another thing is having the tasks in public. So don't have your private to do txt. Don't actually don't put them in your next cloud because no one else will be able to see them and uh, you won't be able to really tell everyone what you're working on. Rather, put them on the platform that you're working on, which in our case is GitHub. So put them on there, use tags, use milestones, maybe use the project board, whatever you like, but basically offload your to-do list on the, the public tool. So that leads us to the next step, that's onboarding. So actually getting the people involved. And that is, when you have all your issues in the issue tracker, you can tag them with good first issues. And for example, Kevin also said in the beginning to, uh, today that good first issues are a really great starter point. And the amount of good first issues you can basically equate to the people that could possibly contribute to your project. And so what, what they basically are is a, it's almost a fix already. So you basically describe everything uh, down to the almost the point of doing it yourself, but not doing it. But like saying, for example, where you would fix it, the file name, and how you would do it, um, what you would suggest how to fix it, but that as an issue. And then somebody else, somebody else can pick it up. Might be a typo or like a pixel thingy, some small stuff. And then the other thing is involving everyone or anyone. Uh, anyone who uh, opens an issue, anyone who, yeah, rants about it on Twitter, or anyone who leaves a, who leaves a comment in the, in the App Store, a, a rating, you can involve anyone. Anyone who is excited enough to leave a comment on any platform that you use is excited enough to help you. And they, for example, everyone can review a pull request. A lot of people don't know that they can review a pull request it, because it sounds very technical and it sounds very involved. But uh, if you actually ask them, hey, maybe you want to review it and you show them how, then you can do it. Another thing is building a team. That's the third step. So have a group on GitHub uh, at nextcloud slash app name, for example. Have an IRC channel or other channel, whatever you like. We mostly use IRC channels. Um, yeah, help people on the issues, or maybe if you see someone who helps other people on the issues, um, ask them if they would like to be the person who helps people on the issues or on the forum. And that is also an honor for a lot of people that they are then the official helper person, and that's, that takes work off your shoulders. And then, of course, invite people to the conf. And also, regarding uh, diversity also, for the next conf, for example, I would suggest that every one of you um, checks in their circle of friends if you have a person from an underrepresented group who is slightly technically minded or is interested in the topic, invite them, bring them, so they have a, a person who they, can, who they have to already introduce them to the community. 
And the last thing is telling everyone. So check app ratings, what the people say, write blog posts about it, go to meetups, not only to Nextcloud meetups, JavaScript meetups, PHP meetups, anything, and also give a talk there, not only at the Nextcloud conf, but also at these things. Um, and yeah, that's basically how you make yourself obsolete. Come to the workshop later, um, it's today. And if you hate me and don't wanna listen to me any longer, there's a great blog post by Mike McQuaid of uh, GitHub and Homebrew, where yeah, he basically has a very similar topic, or he talks about it, and there's a talk about it too. Check that out. Thanks, that's it.